What's up everyone? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We are continuing the series of Becoming Your Own Banker by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. And the reason why we are even talking about this book in the first place is because this is the Infinite Banking Bible. <laughs> if you want to know anything about infinite banking, you need to be reading this book. Mm -hmm. um, and today we are going to be talking about page 28, which covers Parkinson's Law. So this takes a little turn as far as banking goes because Nelson does a really great job of talking about the mechanics of banking. And now we're marrying human behavior into this process now. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the next few videos that we go over, it's going to be all about human behavior and how we treat money, our expenses, and the psychology behind money. Money. So without further ado, we'll talk about per Parkinson's law. So in this section, it gives us three main points. And the first point that I'm going to talk about is the fact that work expands to meet the time envelope. And basically the example that he gave in the book is if you had a project and it takes three days to complete, you're not going to do it until the last day. <laughs> and I can relate to that when I was in school. When I had a project, I would wait to the last minute to do my projects. Mm -hmm. And he even goes into more detail to say, if you were given 30 days to do a project, still what we would do is wait to the last day to get it done. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we call procrastination. procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> It's, it's something that we all uh, suffer from mm -hmm. uh, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing that when it comes to becoming your own banker and uh, owning your own lifestyle, you're going to have to avoid doing that. You're going to have to whip Parkinson's. And of course, the idea behind that is to be intentional with your spending and not procrastinating because it's really easy to just avoid looking at the bank statements, avoid even doing anything as far as budgeting. And avoid, we'll, doing a, avoid doing a budget altogether. It's true, true that. <laughs> so Parkinson's law can be detrimental to your financial journey if you keep that procrastination going. Mm -hmm. So the second point that I'm gonna talk about is a luxury once enjoyed becomes a necessity. Whew, that hurts <laughs> when I think about that because something that I relate to that is eating out. Mm -hmm. I know Darius and I are huge foodies. We love eating out, we love trying new things. And once we got the food bug, so to speak, we were at every restaurant and <laughs> we spent a lot of money on a monthly basis trying new foods and eating out and doing that whole deal. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the luxury is eating out and it becomes this necessity. Now we're thinking about where's the next place we're going and we uh, grocery shopping becomes further and further away from what we need to be doing. Um, but when it comes to Parkinson's law, the, the luxury once enjoyed becomes a necessity. Mm -hmm. What are some things that have now become a necessity in your world that may not need to be there? I know was one thing that I thought about was when we went home mm -hmm. recently, mm -hmm. we went to Piggly Wiggly, the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Sumter, South Carolina, and our local grocery store is called Piggly, Piggly Wiggly. Wiggly. This is where I had my first job. <laughs> but what we do now or what we do living in Phoenix is we go to Whole Foods. It's a luxury to for us <laughs> to go to Whole Foods, but when we went to Piggly Wiggly, we we're like, okay, where's all the Where's the organic, organic vegetables? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. So that kind of leads point. into our <laughs> our third point is expenses rise to equal income. Mm -hmm. And for for us still fall in the category of food. Yeah. When we were in corporate America, when we got pay raises, mm -hmm. our restaurant budget just went up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, true. And, and with that, with corporate America, the raises kept coming, mm -hmm. but then our expenses kept coming as well. And the next thing you know, we were like, how come we're spending so much money? Like we could live on so much less when we first got, when we got our first jobs yeah. compared to what we're doing now. And it just because of those darn luxuries became necessities. It's like college. <laughs> Oodles and noodles was the dollar menu. Mm -hmm. And once we got our corporate jobs, everything just expanded. We were used to living on a very, very minimal, budget. Mm -hmm. minimal budget in college. But once we got our 
jobs, then okay. everything increased. Everything increased. So I, I love the fact that Nelson talks about Parkinson's law because it's so true. I mean, how many of you right now are thinking about some of those things? So mm -hmm. procrastination, um, maybe overextending yourself when it comes to your expenses. And then also, have you gotten a raise recently? Are you spending all of that money and maybe not saving some of it? So just think about those things when we're talking about money because all of this comes into play when you're creating your banking system. Yes. Uh Mr. Nash describes all these things and he drives home the point that if we don't overcome these things, then we'll be slaves forever. Slaves to money. Yep. Meaning mm -hmm. if we overextend ourselves, we're going to have to get the money from somewhere, which means we're going to borrow it. And Credit we're going to overpay mm -hmm. for the luxury or for the ability to have access to money. Whew, you said that. So <laughs> do not... <laughs> Overextend yourself. Make sure you whip Parkinson's. If you don't, you will be slaves forever, which is what this section is all about in becoming your own banker book. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me just talking about it. Very therapeutic. But go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Make sure you purchase the Becoming Your Own Banker book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. And remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.